Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to find the mean absolute deviation on your graphing calculator. Let's take this example. I want to find the mean absolute deviation of these five numbers. To start, we need to enter this data into our graphing calculator. First, we're going to press STAT, press ENTER to select the EDIT function. Enter in all of the values underneath where it says L1, and I have already done that here. In order to find the mean absolute deviation, we need to know what the mean of this data is. Luckily, there's an easy way of doing this on the graphing calculator. All we're going to do is press STAT again, and this time we want to use the right arrow to move over to CALC, and we're going to select the first function where it says one variable statistics and press enter. Our data is all listed in list 1 or L1 so we need to tell the calculator to use the data from L1 so we're gonna press second 1 and so it should read 1 var stats L1 and we'll press enter now. At the top you can see that the mean is 86.4. The mean or average is represented by this X with a little bar over it. But we're going to have to remember this number, so remember the number 86.4. Now we're going to go back to STAT and select EDIT again. What you need to do now is move the cursor so that it highlights L2 right here. Once L2 is highlighted, press second zero to bring up the catalog. And we're going to select the first one, ABS. It stands for absolute value. And now we're going to tell the calculator what to find the absolute value of. Well, we're going to find the absolute value of the difference of all of the numbers in L1 so we're going to select second L1 and we're going to find the difference of these numbers and the mean which if you remember was 86.4 and then we're going to close our parentheses and press enter and it gives you a list of the absolute value of the difference between the mean 86.4 and these numbers if we can find the mean of these numbers, that will be the mean absolute deviation. So let's press STAT, CALC, and then select one of our stats again. This time, we are going to find the one variable statistics of L2. So press SECOND2 and ENTER and our mean absolute deviation is right here 9.28 on your own try finding the mean absolute deviation of this data the answer is 5.92